<laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> for uh, both of us. That, that is also uh, really big for me. Eh? Yeah. When you say you are broke, there's 10 euro. Baby, now there's only 10 euro left. We can't do nothing. <laughs> Ciao ragazzi and welcome back to Lampies. Yes, you have seen it from the title. This video is all about things we wish we knew in our 20s. And we combine this as a couple version, obviously, things we wish we knew in our 20s before we even met each other. Yep. If you are new to this channel, please leave us a like, subscribe, and don't forget to leave us a comment in the comment section below. Anyway, <laughs> so I was eating tomatoes. <laughs> Anyways, what do you all think about this? Just before we continue, I want to highlight here this video was sponsored by Bubicino for making sure that I have this most colorful scarf as a birthday present. Amazing, and I also combined it with this, but I don't think this can be seen. They're quite tiny. Yeah, they're tiny. Yeah. I mean, yeah. for me, I when I was 20, and I still, it's a problem that I still have a little bit up to date, up to now, but it's really learn when to say no to people. Ooh. That is something that has been, because I'm kind of, uh, I have, I'm nice to people, so it's really hard for me to say no to somebody, and that caused me a lot of trouble back uh, in the days growing up because I also just get into also dangerous situation because of that because I was just saying yes, yeah, let's do that, let's do that. Let's smoke cocaine. Okay. Yes. <laughs> no. Let's smoke. You can smoke cocaine. Okay. Ah, you can smoke cocaine. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, but that give you an, an impression of how much uh, Lampies know about drugs. But anyway, no, I mean, I'm sorry. I'm more. Like... That is really something that I think my. If I go back and I may, I meet my myself in my twenties, I I just Maybe. need to take me. No. From one side of, you know, on the wall and just talk me through, like, you need to learn what is good for you because in life you need to have priorities, not about other people and just please other people, it's about you first, even though it can sound like a little, yeah. a little bit egoistic, but it's really, it's about what is good for you. And if you say yes to everybody and to everything they propose you, they, you're just going to end up nowhere because the priority is you and what is good for your life. So you shouldn't always say yes. Sometimes a no is a big saver. I think I love that you say that you should really learn up to say no. It's, it's not selfish to take yourself first because I think when you know what your priorities are, then like save yourself first then you can also save other happy and healthier yeah. and so on you can't just every piece of yours on my is shoulder gone. <laughs> first you are taken care of then i can help the next the person, also. person and if something really disturbs your peace it's a no 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 i'm not doing that mm -hmm. it costs me a lot like what i just wish i knew that i should not I should have not taken my first relationship too serious. Like, you know, like... Oh, yeah. Because I started dating... <laughs> Absolutely. <Yeah. laughs> for uh, both that, of us. That, that is also uh, really big for me. Eh? Yeah. Like, you start... I started dating quite late. Like, already I was done with high school and then university, I'm starting dating. Fine. Mm -hmm. But why was I taking it so... Like I was thinking, we are going to get married. You're way too ahead, but why? And you just, wow. it's your first relationship. That's, that and sounds then, really... <laughs> when you're broken, you're like, okay, now I'm just going to die. I'm not going to love ever again. Uh, uh, uh. No. No, <laughs> no, no. It sounds like somebody, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, no, that was really a lamp, big problem. Yeah, I can't even my... fall in love with you because I had only <laughs> in this life one objective to have one girlfriend, uh, one yeah, wife, yeah, yeah. one person only, and dumped me. And since um, you were so twenty something, and you're going to be single for the I rest. I was twenty four <laughs> when we met. My yeah, goodness. and you're going to you decide you made a decision. You were going to be single until you die because the only. No, person. no, I was not going to be single all my life, but yeah. I was pretty much broken. I was really into this kind of 
you know pattern when no there is the only person that is the right person for me it was not it was not God made only one it? right person no 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 that like, was bad I mean, me, it was it's, it's also usually to say because when you are in it in the relationship everything look really like oh everything is just roses everything it's not like that if i go back now and i think about the relation i had with per the person was bad. with so many things that were wrong but i was so much like into it that i couldn't see like it was just like here the situation was the reality was here but i was not seeing it it was so bad but i know you know that is mistakes that you need to make on your own skin and learn from them because uh, there is nobody that can come to you and say you know you should take it slow yeah, no, no it doesn't you're not work. going to take it slow because you it doesn't work. work so you have to, <laughs> to, to pull you have to pull you have to bump your head on the rock and then you can recover thank goodness i i had a good recovery because i think i i i the first relationship now when i talk to my little sister I say, if you have a boyfriend let it be what it is you are young to decide that i'm going to marry this person in the next 10 years you're going to have a house with this you are too young and you, also to think if you break up, you're going to die because you can't survive with the person. Not <laughs> only that, you need to give yourself space to grow and to really understand what is your, what is your personality, what are your strengths, what are your weakness. And then you can face somebody else and get in a project together with another person. And in a love have, project. A love project <laughs> can be a love project, a business can be... <laughs> but you have first need the time to learn yourself and uh, to learn about yourself and to discover who you really are, what you like, what are your, as I said, the weakness, the strengths, and so ah, on. yeah, because I think it, the first relationship is like you don't really know who you are as a person. No, you just <laughs> then no, you, you have get a person there, who also doesn't then, know who they are as a person. Yeah, and then you go together. <laughs> then you, you want to make it work for everybody. Everything <laughs> goes like that, and then you also like your personality is like gone, and you are not even like two people that are together. You are just like a couple. Then everything is faced as a couple. That is not really like how it should be. And, and I, it doesn't make sense. Like why? I don't understand. For example, why did I? why we, in our first relationship we will get so attached to this person is it because I, you have fear maybe if because you leave this person you might not be fine anyway uh, you are in love with the idea of the person that you have that is not the person it's the idea ah, of the, the person idea. that is in your mind ah, okay yeah and you don't you know admitting that you are wrong is like so difficult so ah yes this girl i'm going to mold her yeah <laughs> to this woman i can that change i can change, change uh, we can learn things together, together. no no <laughs> sometimes no you don't you need to learn about yourself first. what else i wish i knew i just wish i knew that i didn't need to study so much to start something and putting money on the table for my family mm -hmm. i was i spent so much time studying and in the end what i'm doing now has nothing to do with what i studied so that a little bit pissed me off. I, yeah. I wish I wish I would have just gone because I think eventually you know for somebody like me, you kind of just you need to learn how to sell something or how to interact with people or things like that. I think I wish I had focused on that other than okay. just reading, passing the test A. Yeah. And so what now now sell the product that you created when you got an A, you can't do that because too much studying. Baby. Yeah, that is. I think if I we need to open a discussion about financial education, that is something that is completely missing in the, in the public in the system, like in the public schools. They don't teach you anything because they don't know themselves most of the time. Yeah, if you think about all the professor, they they have yeah, financial. They, professor in a professor, they <laughs> yeah, but they have degrees. They are educated, but they don't know about how to manage money yeah. and how to. To, to get like a financial, because you know, like to be honest, it's one of the basic things that you need to know in life. That is true, but please be respectful because a professor in biology is just a professor in biology. Absolutely, but there is <laughs> yeah, nothing there, teaching, but the power that these biology. tools give you is really huge, huge. You know, however, you're going to learn biology, mathematics, how to add one plus two, all these things, yeah. five. 
Oh. And and you know one of the things I hated at school was also things like physics. I just never get it before. <laughs> I still don't get it. But let's move on. And I wish to have started my financial education a little bit uh, a little bit earlier in my life. If I think I started to invest just when I was twenty nine or save uh, or save that when I and just starting to learn about financials goals and financials uh, how to really manage your money just when thank you were you. yeah thank you baby but I, I mean that was also my thing because I was the one starting investing and opening an investing account on my in my bank that, no, <laughs> between that the two is of for us sure. that, that is yeah, for sure okay. but so, I think it came to you when we started being together yeah that is true because you are really driven and also because it was like my first first time living uh, living by myself so before that it was not even a problem why, why did you even save no yeah it was like okay there's why always food in the fridge exactly. where do you need because i so, remember you can just say something i remember mm -hmm. when when we were when we just met and we wanted to do trips together and so on. it's not like i had already some say i was like always saving because i had spent so much time alone but you were like I yes, was, yes, yes, yes. I was and just then when you say you're broke, when you say you're <laughs> broke, there's ten. Baby, now there's only ten euro left. We can't do nothing. <laughs> so why were you doing everything else? I was enjoying life. <laughs> anyway, yep. by the way, if I think about that, if I if I was twenty, I was investing like in some of these big comp ten company like Amazon. Ten years ago, you go and check the stock price. It was one ten one tenth of what is worth now so for example if you have been if i had invested a thousand euros when i was in my 20s in amazon or in facebook now i would have ten thousand euros for each thousand euros invested can you even imagine i wouldn't we wouldn't even be going to work uh, on that topic i also want to add here is also one of my things that i think i wish i knew now I say throughout, for me, saving I knew since I was 13 because I moved out of my parents' house when I was 13. Mm -hmm. And since then, you get your income and you kind of learn how to use it. So I was always, I know, hibernate, hiber you know, hibernation, like don't do nothing so your money stays. So I was, <laughs> it's like almost you're not living so that the money stays because if you're living, you definitely have to spend some money or just try to parasite with some people who want to spend their money. But investing i came to learn about it probably let me somewhere when we were always in Cottbus. Mm -hmm. i was still 20. my problem was i didn't i was learning i was reading all this robert kiyosaki book and stuff about mm -hmm. investing right i just didn't know when how to open the thing and how to start but i was reading and i was reading and i went to the bank and i said i have this much i was like end of my master's mm -hmm. student i have uh, studies and in Germany I've already saved some money for my school he was like I have some money and I just want to invest it the thing is really what I wish I knew I wish I knew how to start by myself because I had the information I didn't know how to start like really this stock where do you buy a stock how, how do you, do you say? <laughs> this is, is the thing because I think you kind of stock I've heard about it I've read about it and I have read enough book by then and I went to the bank and the guy just told me Oh, you know what? But I think it's really little looking down the menu. You only have ten thousand. For me, then ten thousand was a whole lot. No, if I could mm -hmm. buy Facebook shares, obviously. But the guy just said to me, "Oh, with this, to be honest, like I understand, it's ten thousand. I was like super hibernating to get that ten thousand. But he said to me, with this, honestly, it's not a lot of money, and the bank interest rate is zero point zero zero. You know, like the car, the bank interest rate. Yes, yeah, now it's negative. Thing. Yeah, now so you're was telling me this thing. So I was like, okay, I'm not investing because it's zero point zero 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 one. Zero, 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 so zero, I thought, zero, okay, zero. I'm just gonna do some crap investment that I know from old mutual or so ever. So I, I wish I knew how to start with stocks mm -hmm. because I'm here da, 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 ooh, this one is when I was really dumb things I wish I knew in my 20s as far as I think I did a lot of saving in my 20s I also wasted money mm -hmm. I was saving but honestly I was saving everything just to buy clothes that way they're super expensive when I started working I never bought 
expensive clothes like I did when I was in my 20s, like mm. when I was, uni especially the first year, the first two years of my university time, I would go, like I'm saying, two, like only pasta, water, salt, and tomatoes. <laughs> Everything I was saving to make sure that I have the most expensive Levi jean or whatsoever. Uh, I don't uh, even know, what, what is that? Bag or what? A jean, like with this, uh, like, you know, some damning stuff from good brands and so on. I was just, when I get yeah. my money from my parents, I save it, I save it. At the end of the year, it's saved. But all that just go to the most amazing boutique and I buy. Mm -hmm. I, and that was just unnecessary. Honestly, I was broke all the time. I, and I'm a student and I was worrying some things that if, even people would be like, what? I was not using money wisely. I was saving for sure. But the motive why I was saving was also useless. Mm -hmm. Just a school, just not saving. So I wish I knew that. So what? The next thing I really wish I knew didn't do this i just say i didn't i wish i didn't do this in my 20 because i did it and it's terrible it's nonsense now the couple of days we were always talking about racism this is not racism but it's another discrimination which is very common in the african continent which is witchcraft now if i think of how many people i didn't like if i think of also Maybe guys that I like at school that I want, they wanted to date me, I wanted to date them. And all my friends were like, no, in their region, everybody's a witch. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Every, yes, you want to be friends, just even a friends with, no, the no. mother is a witch. And it's just an absolute nonsense. Honestly, I just feel like beautiful relationships that you could just create with other people ruined because I was so much scared of these things that all other f it's, it's like tr other tribes every tribe think the other tribe mm -hmm. has more witches and their witches and, and i think it's really nonsense but it was i was scared because also the stories that people were telling although i feel like looking back at it now mm, none of those stories are true now i went to school at the village now no, village like at the north side, like north central part of Namibia. And then everybody from the northeastern, so Kavango, Caprivi. Oh, it was almost impossible back in the day to find a Vambo dating a Caprivi or a Kavango. Witchcraft. And what do people say? Like I, when I was at the university and I was like, there was just a guy from that side likes me. All my friends would be like, we saw you walking with this guy yesterday. Oh, yeah, yeah, please. <laughs> no, you know what I'm going to say to you? Do you know what happened? If one day you ever decide to break up with him, they put your genitals on your face while you're walking in the city. They, you know, they really say nasty things. You could be just, you know, getting in the taxi to go somewhere but and is your like, genitals are just, just madness. Like, how would you even believe somebody <laughs> telling you that? <laughs> Jesus, you're so please. scared. No, I am not scared. They, they say these things, or they say no. When you leave them, you never mean, want. Really. To, you never. They will make sure that you never find nobody I else. I just think that maybe they are jealous because they also want to date the guy. Yeah, it could be, but I just <laughs> really wish, honestly, because it was like you want to start even just a friendship with another girl who is from the mm. other side. Witches, mm. witch. So I just mm. wish I didn't. I don't, don't like this now. kind of things. I wasted a lot of neighbors, witches. It's, it's bullshit, so I really feel like I uh, wish I never paid attention my, to it. I think one of the biggest regrets that I have looking back is probably my knowledge of foreign languages. I wish in my 20s I knew the importance of learning a foreign language. And I wish I... I put more effort into learning English. Right now, I'm, I, I do speak quite, quite well, but of course I'm still making many mistakes and that it's also because I started later on in my life. And if I would have started that as a child, probably now I, you would not even feel the difference or any accent. Mm -mm. You, you speak amazing. Uh -huh. Accent, uh, I think accent doesn't really go away because you have, obviously, you have your intense, you're still Italian, and I think those, that is who you are, your authenticity, authenticity. Ma che davvero. Sì, davvero. <laughs>
I wish I knew how not to trust strangers. This is something in my 20s that just made me really terrible. Oh, I, most of my worst experience were when you move from a small village, because I grew up in a small village, you kind of know everybody, you trust each other. Ah, oh, it was nice. Then you come to the city. That's, mm -hmm. I was just like, yeah, you know, ah, you want something for my room? Here is the key, pick it up and drop off the... You can't imagine, like I told you, I lost my two pairs of, or, no, three pairs, two pairs of new all-stars. Mm -hmm. And another pair of Jack Parsons also things that I wish I knew in my 20 include that. But the fact that I lost all these, they were like two weeks old in one day. Just because I came, this person, I thought, oh, is this student wanted to pick up something. I don't even think he wanted to pick up something. He probably just saw my shoes <laughs> and wanted to pick them up. And, you know, child from the village, trustful. Yeah, just go. So I just, and, and I think my experience in the university made me, now super critical when it comes to trusting people mm -hmm. I, I really now because back in the day i trusted way too much i wish i knew that people should aim their yeah that face before i gave it to them to me what is the next thing I, I would just say i wish i knew how to cook i spent most of my 20s at the university mm -hmm. like in this in the student uh, apartments i didn't know how to cook is a struggle you are already limited on the money and on top of that you didn't know how to cook so i was just really boiling pasta adding ketchup and i was done and that was like my meal for the whole month i would just buy like a three kg at the beginning of the month a two liter of ketchup salt i don't need to buy water i just get it from the tip and boil and i was done wow 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 i really wish i knew a little bit more <laughs> <laughs> what would you do if you knew how to cook Make lasagna, I don't know, make something. <laughs> I didn't know other than just boiling stuff. Oh ah, my goodness. For me, instead, it was not even in my mind because it was m like mommy's boy and uh, my mother was cooking every single day amazing meals for me. So I didn't have a single reason why should I learn how to cook. But then years old. Yeah, but then eventually when I move out of the house, I, I just start naturally cooking and that's something that I really enjoy now. So. Yeah, don't, it's not something that I really regret in my 20s. Like, I learned on the way. Anyway, guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. That we had really fun to film this because, uh, I mean, you know, you always go back in times and think about all the <laughs> crap Which you crap? used to yeah, do as nice. a... Uh, a teenager, basically, yes, a teenager. No, in your 20s. In a, no, you are not a teenager. Were you still in puberty? <laughs> no, I was not. Okay, in your 20s is... Yes, guys, that was it. Another video with me and Bubuchina together reflecting on our life when we were young, before we met each other. If you want to see other videos where we talked also about how we met up Check here out. and also what Down kind of here. video will be interesting, maybe a little bit of my, Check how I grew up, my life at the village and our life at the village together. Everything down here. I'll share some links below this video. See you in our next video. Ciao, ciao, ciao.